Hello and welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. The Treasurer says today's latest inflation data shows the peak is behind us. Consumer prices climbed 6.8% for the year to April. Now, that was driven by a jump in electricity prices, petrol, food, as well as rent. Jim Chalmers told Parliament today that while the figure is higher than he'd like, it is expected to moderate later in the year. This is a tick up Deacon from the previous month's indicator, but it is well warned. below the 8.4% peak it reached over the 12 months to December last year. The federal government, meantime, believes that community momentum for an Indigenous voice to parliament is gaining pace. Legislation on the design of the advisory body has passed the lower house and that debate now moves to the Senate next month. Attorney General Mark Dreyfus says Australians can't lose sight of what the voice is actually about. All of the distractions and misinformation that's been presented over the course of the last couple of weeks in this parliament, that's not going to be what Australians have in their mind when they come to vote at the referendum later this year. The Reserve Bank will cut ties with PwC as soon as the company completes a current contract it has with the organisation. It follows revelations that the global accounting firm used confidential government information to help its clients minimise their tax in Australia. No criminal charges will be laid against the two police officers involved in a shooting in regional South Australia. The death of Sean Ferris, who was fatally shot earlier this month, was deemed in self-defence. To WA and Roger Cook and Rita Safiotti have held the media conference to announce that they have enough support among WA's Labor MPs to take over the party leadership. Now that's after Mark McGowan announced he'd be stepping down as Premier. And there's a warning that Australia could see record numbers of flu cases this winter, similar to pre-COVID levels. 40,000 cases have been recorded this year alone, 8,000 in the last two weeks. Sport and entertainment are next. To sport and the Women's Australian Golf Open will return to Sydney for the first time in 16 years to be played alongside the men's tournament in November. Taking a look at your entertainment news now, Al Pacino looks set to join his godfather actor pal Robert De Niro in the old dad gang. The 82-year-old is expecting a baby with his 29-year-old girlfriend who's already eight months along. Now, you remember that Robert De Niro announced he was having another child. He's 72. James Gordon has made a pit stop at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Montecito mansion after jetting into LA. The former late night TV host has popped over to the US for a quick visit just weeks after quitting Hollywood to move back to the United Kingdom. And Rita Ora and her Kiwi hubby Taika Waititi have turned up the heat in a steamy photo shoot for Vogue Australia. The newlyweds sending temps soaring for the mag's cover shot. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow. I'm Michelle Stevenson.